Hey guys, what we have here for you today is the Nintendo Game & Watch. Make no mistake, this is entirely a collector item if you're expecting to hack it and put a lot of ROMs on it. Um, if you're looking at it for anything more than just what it is out of the box, I wouldn't recommend this. But to me, this is a very nostalgic and a very heartwarming product for something that my parents used to give me a few of them um, as a child. So. I particularly like these things. I like the idea of them. I like everything about them. First thing you'll notice is it's got a lot of the decals on it here. You've got Mario, the Goombas. You've got, you know, the color screen here and World War One and all that. If you flip it over on the back, you're going to see it's got kind of like World 1-4 with like a bunch of the different screens and stuff that you can do on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this thing out of the box. So let's slide this thing out. So you can see that's the sleeve there. Move that off to the side. So this is the more traditional Game & Watch kind of box. Um, I'll put some of these up so you guys can see them. It's very reminiscent of the ones of old, which I find a nice nostalgic trip for anyone that was a collector of these back in the day, or any kid that had one of these. This one comes with a game ball, which you can see on the cover here. So, we'll go ahead and open this up and slide this out. So maybe I can get, there we go. This slides just straight out. Now this cable is very, very short, so don't expect to get much length in it. This is basically just intended to charge the whole thing, and that's it. If we go ahead and lift this up, you can slide the main unit out. And then there is your main unit. Now this is actually quite a cool piece of tech for me mostly because it's reminiscent of the past. Most of these had some sort of plate like this either be a green or this chrome or a silver. They all had these buttons here at the top. The buttons here feel exactly like I remember them feeling like when I was a child. Uh, the D-pad is very similar to the NES D-pad. Matter of fact it feels identical pretty much in every way which is great. Now, there are a few downsides to this. One, this thing doesn't really want to stay on all the time. Um, if I go and power it on so you can see the screen, you can see it's got kind of like a nighttime theme thing going on. Um, we'll go into that as well. But if you... Yeah, let's go ahead and go into that. If you go ahead and take a look at this real quick. If you hit the time set, and you go to set time, if you change this to AM which you have to scroll around. You can't actually just go over to the AM. You have to go all the way around and do that. You'll notice it goes to daytime. Now that's quite cool. I kind of like that. So it changes day and night cycle, which is kind of neat. If you hit this again, you'll notice you have a different background. If you hit it again, you have a third background. And apparently it does different random animations. But I'm going to go ahead and set the time back. Probably should have done that the other way. So it's about 8 p.m. 8.37 my time. So that makes it nightfall. And you can see what these all look like. In the dark. Which I think they all look pretty neat. So you can kind of like adjust the volume and adjust the brightness. So if I want to make it a little brighter so we can see it better here, you can do that. And obviously drain the battery a little bit faster, but it looks a little nicer. Then if we go here, you can see each one of the games. you got Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, and Ball. Now, if you're not okay with just having a small selection of games, then I would not invest in this. I'll be honest. Um, however, if you're okay with like a small subset of games, this is hugely cool. So you can see it actually sounds pretty good. And on the, I've heard there are some issues with like pixels randomly and not moving right or something like that. I haven't noticed any issues with mine yet. It just seems to look good. I mean, as we go ahead and rotate this thing around a little bit, you can see there's where you charge. There's where your power button is. On this side is your speaker right there. If we flip it all the way around, you can see there's no stand, which is my biggest complaint with the unit, is that there's no stand on the back. So... If you want to stand this thing up, you really can't. 
You have to find some other way or put it like one of those old cradle things like you get for your phone and stuff like that. But if we go ahead and run it a little bit, you can kind of see. It's pretty responsive. When I'm not immediately getting killed by Spikey to the head. Oh. <laughs> My Mario skills are super intact. We're going to try Mario 2 and like really punish ourselves. So here's where we paused here. It also does not help my skill level that I'm looking at this through another monitor as I play it. And if you think this looks small, you should try playing it. Uh, the screen itself is not that small. It's actually a decently sized screen. However, it, it's much smaller the way I'm trying to play it. But you can see both of these run good. They have good responsiveness. Okay, we'll go ahead and try ball so you guys can see ball. But here's the original ball game that would have come on this. This one's slow enough that I can play it. Sort of. And yes, boys and girls, this is what passed as entertainment back in the day. We loved this stuff. It was our idea of being able to do something handheld. And these were like the top end of their kind of handheld. Tiger handheld and had nothing on these things if you could get your hands on one. You can see I've got a top score of like, you know, 57 on this thing right now. Now my understanding is you power this all the way off. It will not keep your high scores and you'll have to get them again. And I doubt we're going to beat our high score because I'm not going to put you guys through that. But I did want you guys to see a little bit of each one of the games. And just see it for the nostalgic sake and the, just kind of the memories that it brings back to me that I was quite happy with and I'm quite happy with my copy. Now, is it for everyone? Most definitely not. Are there a dozen other ways to play these games cheaper? Absolutely. Do I regret buying it? Hell no. Because I'm having a blast with it. And I like it. And even if I just have it to break it out... Or have it on my shelf as a piece of nostalgia. I'm good with that. And if they bring me a Metroid one for its 35th. Or a Zelda one for its 35th. I'll probably buy those too if I can get my hands on them. It just depends on what happens. Because you never really know. With Nintendo. And how they release things. And how they do all these short runs. How these things are really going to pan out. Well, it's getting quick. Gotta focus. Gotta beat that high school, son. Probably not gonna do it. Hey, there we go. How are we doing? Yep, yep, that, 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 Almost botched it there. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Beat the high score. Oh, it's going to go crazy in a minute. Oh, no. Well, there you go. So, if you're into a nostalgic item that just reminds you of the past, or if you have any good memories of it, or just want a neat handheld to go and show, like, you know, your kids, your grandkids, or even just if you're a younger kid and you want to know what it was like to kind of own one of these little things, this is definitely a super cool device. I like it. I think it's fun. Um, and I think it's actually totally worth the money from my standpoint. Now, it will not be everyone's cup of tea. That That's given. Yes, this is hackable. Yes, you can put more games on it. I have no desire to do so. I have many, many, many other ways of things that are around this form factor I can carry around with me. Now that I, not are this light, um, but there are multiple other ways to do just this and emulate these if that's what you want. 
this is more for the nostalgia and collecting crowd. That is what this is for. So that is why you should buy it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully you think this is as neat as I do. Let me know if you have any fond memories of these. But until next time, I will see you guys later, and happy gaming.